she doing? Uh, well, she'll be... She'll be discussing the situation. I want to see her. Yes, in a minute. In a minute. She needs to talk to her husband. Why she lie to me? I'm sure she'll want to explain it herself. Why did you lie to me? I wanted it all to just go away. What? And you think lying to me would make that happen? This isn't about you! My wife's secret child turns up and it's not about me! It was in the past long before I met you! Did you get pregnant when you were a prostitute? No! Have you seen how old she is, Chris? I had her when I was 13. Oh, so that makes it all right, then? What else have you lied about? Nothing! Oh, is there something you wanted? Cos I think you've caused enough trouble, haven't you? I phoned Paddy and Emily and told them that Debbie was with me. Oh, great. What? And when you two finish tearing strips of each other, you might want to bear in mind that there's a very distressed child sitting in the kitchen. I'm quite excited. Sorry? Mm. I can't wait to see Marlon's face on the big day. Well, you're very fond of him. Of course I am. I saw you together earlier. So? You are rather tactile with him. <laughs> oh, Dad. I'm a warm, tactile personality. You're not trying to seduce him again, are you? You shouldn't need to ask that question. No, I shouldn't, but I feel I have to. Marlon and Tricia are a lovely couple, and I am very fond of them both. Yeah, that's all very I'm well. not finished. I allowed a very silly situation to develop. One that wasn't entirely my fault, but the outcome of which I bitterly regret. It was in the past, and, well, if you'd allow me to, I'd like to forget it. Now, does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, I believe it does. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, mate. Oh. Hey, could stay in? Yeah, I suppose I could. Get a video, help me drink these, we'll have a laugh. Yeah? You can get a pizza in. Ah, perfect. So you stopping then? Eh, uh, no. I'll go on, Scott. No, you don't want me getting in the way. You and Nicola can have a nice, quiet, intimate evening together. Hello. Hello. Don't have anything intimate going on with her. Look what I've got. A bottle of wine, home-cooked cocker van, and I even brought some candles. It is nice of you to keep him company, you know. It's my pleasure. Well, I'll leave you to it, then. You're obviously going to have a uh, very special evening together. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Ta da! With people like Edna and Jarvis, it's all about stealth. Stealth. Creeping around their mental block. How much? Oh. All right, look, scrub the smoked salmon. And? Yes, I'm listening. Uh, and a selection of cold cuts, please. They're like a, a castle under siege. Only instead of using arrows, you use the sharp thrust of rhetoric. Well, when I say cold cuts, forget, forget, forget the Italian salami, forget the beef, just, just a selection of ham. You're just listening ham. to me. Don't want to look cheap. So, hang on. But you said... you can push the boat out a little bit. I know, okay, I don't you... think. Right, don't think. Sorry, mate, we're gonna have to start again. Okay, Bob, what were you saying? Castles under siege. You want ingenuity. And maybe a suit of armour. Have you or have you not informed the organisers that we are not taking part? Um, let me buy you a drink and I'll explain. You're not going to soft soak me, Len Reynolds? Well, of course not. I won't insult your intelligence like that. As he told them, we're not going. No. I thought not. Your name's a summit programme. I'm not happy. I'm not surprised. Won't look right good when you don't turn up, will it? Where have you been? Talking to my husband. But now it's heartening, isn't it? I mean, this is our chance. Look, try to understand this. Yeah? I've got now to say to you. You're gonna have to go. What? You're gonna have to go now! Charity? What do you mean I'm not going? What does she you mean? You're my mum! I'm not your mum! Pat is your mum! I'm just a woman who's made a very, very bad mistake a long time ago. I was a different person. What exactly are you saying to me? For God's sake, Charity. Please. Look, you need to stay out of this, all right? You can't make her leave without talking to her. Well, just watch me. You owe her an hour of your time. You owe her an explanation. Do you understand? I won't let you send her away. 
Oh, I love wedding cakes. Columns, layers, those little action figures on the top. They can't afford that. I know. I was just saying I love them, that's all. Perhaps some sort of sponge? Well, but with icing, of course. I know I can't afford the full works, but I'm not having jam sponge on my wedding day. Don't panic. I'll get Marlon to make it. What? He's got to make his own wedding cake again? At least then we'll know it's a good one. Right. Best man. Paddy. I'll tell him. Well, well, shall we make Paddy the last person we tell before we start inviting people properly? Hey, hope you know what you're doing. In what way? This party's getting expensive. My little committee has it under control. You have a committee? Why am I on it? Because you're too busy. Shoo. A committee? I am this close to telling him what's going on. Don't blame me if I'm getting a bit slow at thinking on my feet. Why don't you want me here? Debbie... Why did you say you had to go? Just a minute. Well, why did you lie to me about being my mum? Look, if you want me to answer your questions, you're going to have to cut this attitude. I'll start again. And never mind what's gone on up to now. All right. So you took this? My dad. When? About half an hour after I'd done the test, I found out I was pregnant. Tell me. There's not really to tell. I sat in the loo, staring at the test, trying to take it all in. My dad was banging on the door. And when I opened it, I thought he'd somehow know by looking at me. But he just pushed past me and said, about time. How'd you feel? He'd just won this camera off his mate in a bet. And he wanted to use it. So I'm stood there in this daze and he wants to take a picture of me. <laughs> How did I feel? Like the life I knew was over. And I was really scared. But you told him? Yeah, I told him. And then you had the baby? Yes. And then you gave me away? Why? Look, I think it's about time you went, Debbie. No, please, you have to tell me. Ever since my mum, Pat, ever since she told me I was adopted, I've wanted to know. So you're going to have to tell me why you gave me away. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm getting there. Why did I give you away? Look, I was 13. I was too young for a sensible thought in my head, let alone raise a kid. Well, I'm 13. Yeah, well, there you go. Secondly, my dad went totally crazy. Well, what's he got to do with it? Oh, do you want to hear this or not? Losing his temper was nothing new, but this was something different. First he hit me, then he hit the bottle. Well, I still could have stayed in the family. No, you couldn't. Well, why? Because he wouldn't have allowed you to. You could have argued with him. Well, there's a third thing yet, anyway. Like I said, I was really scared. I was ready to let the baby go. I wanted it out of my life. I don't understand. What, that's not clear enough? What about my dad? He don't come into it. And anyway, he's dead now. Well... Sorry. It was always you I wanted to find because of this. Because that's who Pat always talked about. But now I found you, Anna. I never thought I would, but I found you. Paddy, can I have a word? Yeah, of course you can. Why? What's up? I want you to be Marlon's best man. Best man? You mean you could. Yes? Marlon! No, okay. What? It's a secret. Yes, mate. Uh, is my food coming? I just ordered it. Yeah, fair enough, mate. I, I was just talking to Trisha anyway. What do you mean it's a secret? Right. You ready, girl? Yeah. Look, Diane will explain. Better get started on your speech. <laughs> oh, no, not that again. Yes, that again. Me and my mum are off to do a bit of late-night shopping. <laughs> I just don't see why you're so against it. It's a bit of frivolity. Thou shalt from time to time take thy hat off and let thy hair down and have a bit of fun. 
You will not get round me with blasphemy, Len Reynolds. Well, I'm no expert, but I don't think the Lord's against enjoying yourself. Now, if you can look me in the eye and tell me that you didn't enjoy that competition, I'll shut up. Eh? Eh? Can you? Do you think I should go in there? See if I can help? No. But I wonder how it's going. Badly, I expect. Charity's not exactly the mums you saw. Debbie had a right to know the truth. And did it ever occur to you that I had a right to know the truth? Chris... Apparently not. How long have you known that Charity had a child? It was since I... backed out of having the termination. I was in a pretty emotional state and... Charity told me about her experience. That was months ago. October. And the two of you have kept the secret to yourselves all this time. We never lied to you. Oh, please, I don't want your pathetic excuses. You and Charity kept this from me. No, you mustn't feel this way. How do you expect me to feel? Right, let's talk cakes. Yeah, let's, cos I'm not busy at all. Good. Now, Valentine's Hold Day... Hold on, Diane, that was sarcasm. Saying something that's not true for comic effect, because actually, as it turns out, I'm really busy. Doesn't matter. Valentine's Doesn't Day. Doesn't matter? Would you stop interrupting? You are making a cake for Valentine's Day. Fine. Something cheap, yes? The budget is small, but your imagination is vast. I'm sorry? Think heart, think romance, think happy ever after. I want the best cake you've ever made. It's not very likely. Best cake I ever made was for my wedding. That's the sort of standard I'm looking for. But cheap. Precisely. I, I, how come, right? I haven't seen any posters of this expensive but cheap night of extravagant romance on a budget. Good point. That's what I'm doing next, making posters. I'm making posters. You're making cakes. Excellent. What do you think? What do you mean? Well, what do you think about the atmosphere? Well, it's a bit dark. Mm, just like a cosy little restaurant. Cock a van, I cooked it. Yeah, you said it's just, well, I'm not hungry. Well, don't be silly. You've got to eat. Well, I'm stuck here, aren't I? See, I can't even reach it. No problem. There we go. Ah, uh, uh. uh, Nicola, look, there's something I need to explain to you, yeah? We're mates, yeah? Yeah, of course we are. Well, look, beyond that, it's... Ah, uh, less talking and more eating. Open wide. Nicola, There. We'll be through this plateful in no time. And if you're good, there's ice cream to follow. I expect Seth has persuaded you to take part in this ridiculous competition. He might have done if I had a decent partner. Any partner of yours would have to be very skillful to cover for your clumsiness. I suppose Leonard's got you to change your mind, has he? Len seems to assume that I enjoy being manhandled around the dance floor by you. Enjoyment don't come into it. Quite. You'll be needing a new frock. And you will be needing to acquire a modicum of grace. So you do it. We've come this far. We'll go last mile. And you can wipe that silly smirk off your face, Len Reynolds. You ask too much of charity. A little honesty is too much. She's a dingle. She's a tate. She was a dingle for most of her life. You know what that means. A chaotic upbringing, nothing we would recognise as a formal education, and people like Cain for your relatives. She's a tough woman. She came through. You don't just forget that sort of hardship. It forms you. It makes you who you are. I'm talking about what happened here, in the present. I mean, this kid showed up and she didn't tell me. She didn't want me to know. How's that supposed to make me feel? Debbie showed up and Charity's past was living, breathing and staring her in the face. What do you think her first reaction was? She wanted to run away from it. Then why didn't she come to me? I believe I can accept anything that's happened to her. But I, I just can't cope with being so excluded from her life. Imagine if Jean turned up, age 13. Imagine how hard that would be to deal with. Well, for charity, it's ten times worse. Pad and them thought I were making it up. I mean, I don't blame them. I do make things up sometimes. But this is better than anything I could have invented. You reckon? 
They're going to be so surprised. You are? Can they come and see you tomorrow? And then as soon as Pat's back, you can come and see her. Hang on a minute. And I can't wait to tell Kane. He's going to be so happy that everything's worked out. You're not telling Kane? Why not? Because you can't trust him. Just think about it. The minute he saw that photo, he knew it was me. But he didn't tell you, did he? He was using you to get at me. All right. And you're not telling Pat, or Paddy, or Emily, or anyone else for that matter. Well, what do you mean, why not? You like Pat, don't you? Well, of course I do. Right. Well, when I handed you over to her, it wasn't done officially, was it? She could go to prison if this ever came out. And you'd never see her again. Is that what you want? No. And you'd never see Paddy or Emily either. Cos you'd be taken far away from them, and from me. Why? Look, just trust me on this. I know what I'm talking about. You can't tell anyone. Promise me you won't tell anyone. All right, I promise. That's not good enough. I want you to mean it. Look at me in the eye and promise me you won't. All right, I promise you I won't tell anyone. Just you make sure you don't. What's this? Oh, Valentine's Day party. It love is in the air. Don't get too excited. It's not what I'd call your standard Valentine's party. Oh, do you mean it's a bit raunchy? Car keys in the ice bucket type of thing? You are. That's too well, I guess. I'm intrigued, Diane. Yeah, it's good, that. Yeah, it's half the battle, isn't it? Get your punters intrigued. All I can tell you is there's going to be a lot of love in the room. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? And what's that supposed to mean? I'm not allowed to go for a drink at my local boozer. I thought you were meant to be out on the town, all on your own. Yeah, well, I was having a drink in a bar and... Well, I just thought my heart's not in it. Oh, did you get lonely? No. But you didn't pull. Didn't try. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, I might have been a bit over the top last week. Yeah, well, I probably deserved it. I usually do. Just because I like being with Dean doesn't mean I want a baby. Good. So tell me the truth, then. You got knocked back in heart, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> well, don't get too down about it. Your luck might still be in tonight. All right, then. Shall I get the ice cream? No, just give me some wine, yeah? Do you want me to...? I'll manage. Thanks. You know, when I think of how I was when we first met, I'm embarrassed. <sighs> yeah? Oh. But I'm a, a different person now. Older and wiser. Right, right. The thing is, though, uh, I still have the same desires. Well, uh, wait a minute. What? Well, look at me, Nick. I'm not a well man. I need rest. I think I'm seizing up again. Oh, say no more. Look, I don't want to tie you out. We'll continue this conversation tomorrow. Uh, uh, leave, leave the one. Maybe there'll be uh, something extra on tomorrow's menu. I can see the likeness now. It's so obvious now, I know. And you can see it too, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I can see it. Look, I think we've had enough now, Debbie. Not yet. Well, you should be going home. Well, just let me stay a bit longer. And what about Paddy and Emily? They're going to be worried sick. Well, Zoe says she rang and I don't want to go yet. All right. All right, calm down. You can come and see me again. I'll take you out somewhere. I'll take you shopping. I'll take you wherever you want to go. When? In a few days. No, tomorrow, please, tomorrow. Fine, right, all right, whatever, tomorrow. But right now, you can go home. Right, well, I'm going to see you tomorrow. How well can I know her when she can hide things like that from me? I don't think anyone will ever really know Charity. Well, that's great. Well, she's reinvented herself too many times. We'll never fully understand her. I don't suppose she even knows herself. Just tell me one thing, then. Are you aware of any other secrets I ought to know about? I just told you, Chris. I don't feel I know Charity. I can't help you. Where is she? I thought we'd uh, be interrupting something. Mm, she's gone. Scott told me all about it. Did you keep her in today? Yeah, she had so much fun, she's coming back tomorrow. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> well, in fact, you, you can't even run either, can you? Mm. So, uh, <laughs> that conversation we are having earlier, it looks like you've changed your mind, yeah? Yeah. What conversation? 
Me and Sydney were having a conversation about me going into Hotton this evening, but I changed my mind, didn't I? Came and found you instead. Mm. Right? Mm. Something like that. Well, you made the right choice then, didn't you? Come on. Um, if you need anything, don't shout. We'll be busy. Right, well, we're off. Goodbye, then. It was nice to meet you, and I'm sorry for causing any trouble. It's not your fault. Bye, Debbie. Thanks, you know, for what you did. Just go and wait in the car. I'll be out in a minute. It's the red one. It's under control, Chris. What does that mean? Well, she'll be out of the village in a few days, and after that, she'll never bother us again. You make her sound like some anonymous nuisance. All right? All right. Chris. You heard her. It's under control. Look at these. They were buy one, get one free, so we got loads. What do you reckon? They're a bit Christmassy. No, they're just general sort of patterns. They're, they're, they're very nice. Well done, both of you. And that's not all. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got carried away. Candle holders, coasters. Oh, and, uh, and, and we got these. <laughs> Hair clips. Yeah, well, they were buy one, get one free. <laughs> You've got hundreds of them. Oh, I I'll use them. <laughs> and what Trisha doesn't use. I can sell. Oh, I thought I'd be terrible at buying all this cheap stuff, but it was really easy. I reckon I'm really good at it. <laughs> so, tomorrow, then? Yeah, tomorrow. Thanks. You know, for seeing me tomorrow. And for answering all my questions. And for... Well, for being my mum. This has been the best day of my life. Bye then. See you.